hope everybody's doing well tonight. Uh, just wanted to, this was kind of a last minute thing. I wanted to jump on for just a little bit. Uh, we're going to talk with uh, D. Hausner, creator of uh, Kid Nebula. Kind of see where D is on that project. Maybe get some behind the scenes stuff. Uh, here in just a little bit, we might have Dan Price. Uh, jumping on from Bigfoot Nose Karate and possibly a, a special guest that you've never seen on here before. So that'll be awesome. Uh, just waiting for these guys to kind of jump on and uh, get in here and let's talk about it. Plus, I'll be uh, dropping a little news about my book, End of Days. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit, kind of. Kind of catch you up if if you don't want spoilers, I suggest you don't jump on because uh, we'll kind of spoil some of the plot so far for uh, chapters one and two. But uh, jump off, go to jerrycooleyart.com to catch up now. You can pick those issues up there. I also have uh, signed prints. Uh, there's all kind of stuff. Check it out. It's, it's worth taking a look at. I'm proud of it. Um, designed it myself so yeah still working it out it's not exactly like I want it but I like how it's going so far so hope you like it uh, you can jump on the chat let me know what you think about it let me know how I can improve it uh, kind of some stuff that you would like to see on there so yeah let's see D's on uh, let me shoot him. Hopefully Dale will be in here with us in just a second. What's up, friend? Good to see you, buddy. There he is. What's up? How's it going? <laughs> oh, for some reason, my buds are not working. Hold on just a second. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you. God, these buds are a pain in the ass. Sometimes they work perfect, and sometimes you got to love tech issues, man. It's always <laughs> something. Always something. It never fails. And they're still not working. I don't know what's going on. Let's see. I can hear you through the phone, but I can't hear you through the buds. Shit. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Hold on. I got my backup right here. Have to do away with the cordless, I guess, and go old school. But I can hear you on the phone. Let me just get tapped in here. How you been doing, brother? Good, man. Good. Yeah. How, just... How's the How's the book coming along? Are you ready to pull your hair out yet? Uh, just about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's very gratifying, and uh, it's a great experience, but. God, it's a lot of work, especially when you're doing just about everything yourself. Yeah. Let's Let's see. Hold on. Hold realize. on. Shit. All right. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Can you hear me now? Yeah. yeah. There we go. Shit. It's always <laughs> something. I tell you, I'll get all this figured out one day. Maybe by the time I'm 60, we'll see. Yeah. We shall see. Uh, Thought I had everything set up, tested the uh, audio on my uh, on my buds, and then we go live and nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Murphy's Law, right? <laughs> oh, God, yeah. No doubt. If it can happen, it's going to happen to this guy. I promise you. <laughs> But yeah, man, it, uh, I know what you're going through. Like I was saying, it's 
It's uh shit. There we go. It's a lot of work, especially when you're doing doing everything. It, but you're still loving the process, though, right? Yeah, I mean, there are moments when I want to throw my uh, <laughs> iPad to the wall, but the most no part, doubt. I mean, it's it's been great. It's been such a great experience. I've really learned a lot about. Well, learned a lot, and then I also learned a lot about myself too, like things I need to work on, like just right coming up with like a uh, little more structure in the whole thing, and and things gotcha. I need to work on, just an art too, you know. I mean, there's <laughs> always learning. Definitely, it's man. I I've learned so much through these last two books. I can't wait to drop this third one. You know. Just adding every little thing that I picked up, you know, not just from the the campaign end, but like you said, you you really put your art under a microscope, and uh, you kind of dig in there, and uh, you see a lot of the little things that you normally I don't know you kind of turn a blind eye to. I yeah. guess you you know you try and put out your very best work for for everybody because. You know, um, it's not really more pressure. Not really. I just, like I've said before, I enjoy getting a story out there, man. And I'm so grateful to everybody that's picked it up so far on these campaigns. But, you know, you just, you want to give them every little bit you got. You know, yeah. you want it, you want it, it's, it makes it that much more special, you know, to know that people are going to be looking at this. It's not just for you and your family or whatever. It's going out there in the world, and you want to put the the best possible project you can out for everybody. You exactly. Know? So you just you you spend more on the details. You really do. Yeah. Oh yeah, I realized like I had to go back and clean some stuff up and change a few things and. Right. Oh man, but yeah, it's <laughs> like you said, it's definitely a learning. It's like you kind of go through the gauntlet. You know, it's uh, yeah. <laughs> I I tell you, I mean, I learned a lot with my line art, kind of tightening it up. And uh, two of the biggest things I've taken away from this, you know, we've talked before. I didn't really do any color work whatsoever until end of days, chapter one. And I took a whole, it took me forever, you know, to kind of get that book out. And I'm still learning on that because I, I hadn't, been in digital work period but about maybe six months before that first chapter come out so oh, wow. i was trying to catch up with all you guys i yeah. like i said i'd done the whole first chapter in there about traditionally and then said this shit ain't gonna work <laughs> i'm not gonna go in and scan all this and, and redo everything and which i wound up i did scan a lot of it in some of the original stuff probably about half of the original stuff made it in the book, but I changed so much, you know, when I went to digital because there's so much at your fingertips, man. There's so much you can add to the production that, you know, it it would take forever if you were doing it traditionally. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's why I just, it's amazing, like, the way it's set up now for independents to, like, like us to, like, just, do it all like kind of like pretty easily all like in one like on your laptop your ipad whatever your computer you can pretty much do the whole process which is pretty awesome right. i got a surprise oh, there they there are is. what's up dan you, who's that outlaw you got in the background what's up dude how you doing doing good brother who's that outlaw you got in the background with you that, that's Robert Cheesy Comics, man. Oh man, what's up? Hey, dude, what's hey, happening, dude. Robert? <laughs> Not much. How you guys doing? Good. Man, just hanging out, talking about uh, projects and our books, and uh, you guys stress. got well that's stress. <laughs> exactly, man. Like me and you talked, uh, Robert, when you first launched, you talked like you was about to pull your hair out too. <laughs> People don't realize what goes into this. They really don't. No, no. Dude, you, you got have, a haircut, dude. You're looking good. You can't hear me. So? Said, looking good, sir. Looking good. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> We're at a bar right now. 
Hey, it's all good. Uh, you did too, man. You're not near a shaggy. Awesome. <laughs> I don't know. Can you guys hear, Can you hear us? Yeah, yeah we're you're in and out. Yeah. It... Okay. Got you. Somewhat. <laughs> Hold on. Let's come over here. We're going away from people. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, we'll get them in here in a minute. Guys? We are doing awesome, fellas. Yeah, I know you guys are doing, doing good. Oh, yeah. You're getting your drink on. Yeah. How did tequila? Beer uh, uh, Modelo. Is yeah, what Modelo. I have. Yeah. yeah. Modelo. Okay. Yeah. So. I'm a no, sweet tea we guy. We were just hanging out, doing comics. Yeah, talking, talking comics, talking about y'all behind your backs. So, you know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I got you. Nothing. Hey, if you're talking about us, you're talking Hello, about a good Anita. thing. So. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Random people in Austin. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Just random it popping is. in. Absolutely. <laughs> That's what we do here. So, now you're cool. So, uh, no, we just wanted to say hey real quick. See how y'all hey, are doing? While I got you guys on, don't y'all two have something uh, coming up together? You want to drop we that? Yep. We'll be at the Hill Country Comic Con in uh, New Braunfels. New Braunfels. Yeah. And March... Fifth and, fifth and six. six. Yeah, fifth, fifth and six. six. Yeah. We're yeah. sharing a table. So. Awesome. Awesome. That's fantastic, yeah. guys. And then uh and then I'm gonna see now are y'all gonna make it to say y'all aren't gonna make it to South Carolina though, right? Me neither. Still I'm waiting. Not. Still yeah. waiting. Wait, list. Uh, yeah. It would be cool if it would happen, but y'all need to make your asses up to Baltimore, man. October. Man, I don't know if I would survive that <laughs> far north. <laughs> <laughs> they might stone me alive, dude. That's hilarious. Yeah, we'll get you stoned. Don't worry, it'll be all right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They'll be like, we got to get this podunk asshole out of here. <laughs> we can't wait to take Jerry to New York Comic Con. Yeah, yeah. That's gonna be awesome. So, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm waiting for your book, D. I'm waiting for that to be coming out soon. Oh yeah. It's that's what we were just talking about. It's getting there. It's almost there. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, congrats. <laughs> hey, Robert, while I got you on, man, I love the book. It looks fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. I, Thank I love you. where the story's going. It, it looks incredible. Yeah, it's going to be, you know, it's interesting because you know, we're doing this uh, Hill Country Comic Con coming up, and then I got that second Kickstarter coming out, and I'm already – Kind of poop in the bed on that one. <laughs> <laughs> don't we all? Don't we oh all? Yeah, you know, you brought it up, Jerry. I mean, people don't understand. You know, when you're a one person or two person band because you got somebody out at home helping you out with this, it's crazy. But see, what I hate about you three is you guys are artists. Like, I, I, I last time I drew a Spider Man, <laughs> it was like <laughs> I think it was junior high. Okay, it was pretty good. I mean, I'm not gonna brag. It was pretty damn good. Uh, it was in the uh, symbiote uh, uh, costume, I remember. But uh, the best yeah, yeah, one. I just, uh, yeah, it's like you know, I've got to pay you guys to work for me, and and, and you know, uh, I talked about it with uh, with Dan a couple weeks back. You know, I've got Julia, who's phenomenal. You know, she's out there in oh, Milan. Excellent, she's, excellent. Yeah, she's great. And then uh, now being able to bring in Kevin Keen, so they're both going to draw on the new comic. And Kevin Keen, he's been doing stuff for like you know for. Uh, uh, Gunslinger Spawn. You know he's working oh, wow. with Top of Portland. Yeah, that's so, crazy. Yeah, just just trying to get like real. Can you believe that shit? All right, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to, you know, I mean, you saw it, you know, Jerry, and just you know, just and, and D saw it as well. It just, yeah, I'm just trying to get that, like, you know, like, like I mean, we both. I mean, we all love uh, Frank Miller, so it, it's oh, just God, that, yeah. that grit. You know, I want that grit. I just want exactly, that, exactly you know, that look to it. And so um, I, I love what uh, Kevin King does. He's a great guy, and, and why the hell he wants to work with the short little Mexican out here in El Paso, I have no idea, but he does. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, what did I say, El Paso? Okay, yeah, we're in Austin. I've only lived here like 13 years. Yeah, we're in Austin. <laughs> got to cut it yeah. off. Damn. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. <laughs> Y'all only had one drink? I hate to say you with about a six-pack in you. Damn. <laughs> Stop the hell and whoop his fucking ass, man. <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm okay, I'm okay. Anyway. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, it's like, you know, I always tell the story that, you know, I, I, you know, I was a big comic book nerd when I was a kid. And, you know, I'm talking like 2,000 comics that I owned and blah, blah, blah. And then 
Yeah, you have goals, and I kind of disappeared for like 30 years and jumped back in over this last decade. And and I've always had this story in my head, and it was going to be a book. And then I decided, why not make it into a comic? And and it's it's just been you know, this whole. I'll say the one thing is is like the indie community is just phenomenal. They I mean, really you know, are everybody. Yeah, yeah, you guys, everybody else. This dude here, uh, definitely. <laughs> it's, like, it's just just this, you know, the the, the community, the, the the support, the you know, the brotherhood, the sisterhood, the everything hood, just the hood itself. Uh, yeah, we the hood, <laughs> baby, we the hood. Yeah. There you go, <laughs> indie hood. That's what we need to start. Indie there you hood. go, indie hood. Represent. Yeah, but it, it's just it's just been phenomenal. I mean, it's it's honestly, I think it's been one of the most rewarding things I've done in my life, and I'm and I'm being oh, serious. Yeah. yeah, it's been super super awesome. So hopefully. Like I said, we launched sometime in April with the second one. Hopefully, it goes good and, uh, you know, keep putting the product out there. Awesome. Awesome, awesome man. I can't wait to see it, Robert. Yeah. No, I, I, I loved your book. I mean, I just I, – I love the feel, you know, I, you know, the whole Jack the Ripper type of – I, I just – I'm so much – I remember and, – and I'm not going to get emotional because I, I lost my mom a little while ago, about a month ago, but we, we used to love watching that stuff. I mean, I, I don't know. Right. D looks, D looks young. Jerry, you, you're, you're, we both got the bags. We're the oh, ones. yeah, man. The bags and all the salt and the pepper <laughs> shaker. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, I mean, you remember driving in your like grandmother's car as you would go to places and you'd have that overnight show where they would do like all the, I guess what now are called crime stories, but they would tell the stories of Jack the Ripper and this yeah. and that. Yeah. No, but way before in Unsolved Mysteries. And like you would listen to that stuff as you were driving from one city to city overnight. And like your your comic brought me back to like just this time that that you know that I loved and I wish I could get back to. So it it, it was just awesome. I mean, thank you I so much. I appreciate it, Robert. Appreciate I love the artwork. I just love the feel, everything about it. Well, I'm I'm in production on the next on um, chapter three now. Hope to launch uh, March, possibly mid April. It, it depends on how everything goes. I'm still putting it together. It's like I've said in the last couple of lives, I'm really taking my time with this one and kind of not to say that I didn't with the other two, but I, I, I feel like I kind of rushed the second one. I was really proud of the way it turned out, but I'm really wanting to add that bring you really into that horror element with this next issue. I don't think I've quite captured that yet, and I'm really hoping to bring that home and a lot more action coming into this next chapter. So, y'all yeah, just buckle up. Yeah, okay, well, I enjoyed it, man. and I look forward to the next thing coming out. Yeah, appreciate wait. it, Robert. And Dan, I hey, I seen the post. God bless <laughs> you, man. All the book, holy shit! Dude, got a freaking manufacturing company over here, man. Everybody's I'm telling you, that's a one man <laughs> band right there. Well, yeah, he had he had this. child labor. He had child labor. <laughs> I got Casey on my team, so I mean, I got Casey the co-writer, and so you can't go wrong with that. And then I got right. my I got my uh, my fulfillment team with my wife, my son, my daughter, and <laughs> I love of, that. All of us, five of us, last weekend knocking them out. I've got about thirty packages I need to put together over this weekend to get ready for uh, to ship out Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. So wow, that'll be it. Those are the international orders. Those are the ones that came in after the fact, and a few of the Kickstarter backers. So uh, a few of the U.S. orders, but like about thirty, yeah, thirty, forty books that need to go boxes that need to go out this weekend. So well, yeah, sounds like you about got it wrapped up, brother. Congrats. Yeah, real close, man. I was at the fucking post office for four hours today i know i know uh, you yeah. text me at like uh, well i messaged you at uh shit i can't even remember what time it was and you had already been there like two and a half hours it just <laughs> blew my mind i was like so you got to be fucking was, kidding me <laughs> they had one person work in the window right and so they had me of on course, they had me, of course yeah they had, so they had me on the damned uh <laughs> so they had the, the self-service machine that you yeah, have yeah, it. it took me like 15 I took like, 15 packages took me like an hour, you know, oh, there and, and so, so everybody behind him was like, what a dick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I wish this a-hole would get the F out of the way. I'll be Hold up the line. Hurry the fuck up. Yeah, I'll be done in just a, 115 more packages, oh, asshole. <laughs> oh, God. 
And, Bless uh, your heart, man. Yeah. And so anyway, they took mercy on my sweet soul. And they, uh, they gave me a, a lady at the window to help me out. And she, her name was Yvonne, and she was incredible. So thank you, Yvonne. You're amazing. And, uh, and don't ship out around New Year's, man. I got nailed on the shipping rates oh, yeah. going to Australia. Out. Really? That's, yeah. that's well, why I didn't I'm, do it. Hell, Australia is still on. They're on lockdown right now, I think. Yeah, if you want to mail, I tried to mail. Yeah, I tried to mail Jack something uh, the other day, and it was going to cost me like eighty bucks to ship a damn book, one fucking book, eighty dollars. Yeah. Hey, it I'm blew say my this about mind. Jack, Jack was worth every cent I spent to send him out that book because his response, I'm actually going to post it, was phenomenal. Like I, I love Jack. If I could, I'd kiss him. All right. Oh yeah. <laughs> was, if I ever see great. the big guy, I'm gonna kiss him right on the, the those beautiful <laughs> cheeks he's got on both of them. But my God, like the shipping rates. But, but the cool thing was, man, I, I ended up in Australia, Milan, freaking, well, you know, Italy, uh, England, Ireland, uh, Germany. Yeah. It was like just just insane to think people will know you know that far away would want to read your stuff. That's awesome. and people don't realize that you know Dan hit me up before he did his and. People were wondering why I was doing, you know, twenty five dollars overseas. Hell, you got to. It costs yeah. it. Yeah. Jerry, you are a hundred percent, absolutely correct in your numbers. Yeah. Okay, because let me tell you something, dude. Uh, you told me charge this. You told me charge nine dollars for shipping or whatever it was. Yeah. Charge nine dollars for shipping. What's up, Toner? How you doing, buddy? Uh, the uh, no, I um, I did not lose my ass today. Thank you for that. You're welcome, brother. I, I, and that's I, I'm here you, for you guys. That's all you, because I listen to you on that one, man. Well, I lost a bass, okay? You, <laughs> and I, I got a lot of ass, but I still lost some. <laughs> well, you you can have me. some of mine. I got plenty to go around. <laughs> now, now, I'm doing my internationals right next week, so we'll find out how bad how bad you know, the, the butt gets gaped open after that. So I don't know. Well, hopefully, Australia is open again. I, yeah. I hope so. It's like I said, that, I said a few months, hell, that was before I went to to work this last time so it's been over a month ago and she okay. said hopefully they would be opening back up normally i forget what kind of rate they called that you couldn't do a regular rate it was some <laughs> kind of special thing to australia everywhere else like the uk and stuff like that was still normal as far as i knew then it could have changed by now but yeah that's the, cheap, we were the cheapest rate i got to australia was uh um, uh, UPS. I, I didn't even go through the postal service, and it was close to about fifty bucks. So yeah. here's what I'm gonna yeah. do. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put Jack and Nate's comics in one box. And I'm gonna there, make you them. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. So that's what I'm gonna do. Because yeah. those are my Australians. I gotta hook up. Yep. So uh, now I got. I did sell a book to somebody in South Korea. So I'll Ooh. see. I'll see how much that Ooh. costs. Me. So. How that goes. I'm scared to even imagine what that's going to be right now. That's going to be a lot of money, but that's okay. It'll be worth it. It'll be fine. Oh, yeah. It'll be, it'll, be yep. fine. It'll, be fine. <laughs> it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. 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 It'll be that's fine. Me. You're good. God. Oh, my God. It's freaky. Um, yeah, and then I got to send something to Scotland. Something to Ireland. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. And some Canadian stuff. There's a few of them, but now it not wasn't that bad to Ireland with me. I I've done a few to Ireland, and I had several going to the UK and a couple to Scotland. It wasn't horrible. I mean, it wasn't great by any means, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, mine was just it was just the, the cost. And actually, I do think I would, I think I did I did get Canada, but yeah, Canada wasn't bad. It was Australia. That, yeah, really, Canada, uh, the, Australia was the uh, kicker. Yeah. Canada wasn't bad at all. Yeah. yeah. It'll be fine. It'll be it'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> it'll be funny. We're not here to make money. Well, at least I'm not. <laughs> it's like I'm losing uh, money. <laughs> no, no. I'm the, just uh, trying to get a product out that people will love. If yeah, I make money, absolutely. hey, that's a that's a blessing, and that's that's extra. Yeah. yeah, I just again just didn't want to lose my ass in shipping. That was all I right. really was worried about. So thank God for that. Yep. But um, yeah. Uh, we totally interrupted your conversation. No, was, no, no, no. <laughs> no, <it was> good. <laughs> no this is all part of the conversation. Yeah. I mean, we're talking about Kickstarters. Now we've jumped into fulfillment. Everybody can well, kind of, you here, know. Here's a new topic. 
So the Spanish Inquisition. Was it Spanish? <laughs> was it really Inquisition? Okay. Go ahead. God. It was. <laughs> As the Jewish representative of this live stream, may I just say, it was. Damn it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, we got Mo in the house. What's up, Mo? What's up, Mo? What's up, Mo? Here, I got it. Boy, he <laughs> killed that cover. Have you guys seen that cover for Crit 5 he did? Oh, my oh, God. Man. Oh, yeah. All those covers are kick-ass, man. Yeah, they really Mo's are. Yeah. Mo's freaking amazing. You know, I, I didn't realize. Mo, I apologize to you because I thought we were following each other, uh, that I was following you, and I wasn't. I, I rectified that a couple of days ago, so. My apologies, sir. Oh, you got to have Mo on there. Right there, Lubis and Art. Lubis and Art. Sensei yeah. Mo. So, exactly. Um, yeah, so uh, Mo, that's Robert. Robert, that's Mo. There you go. So, so the anyway. godfather, he's the draw father. The draw <laughs> father, is that what we're calling Yeah, Mo? the draw father. <laughs> Done. Done. John Lubison. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. So, anyway. yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, Still waiting on word about South Carolina. I, I still yeah. got to look at my schedule and see what kind of cons are coming up and yeah. see if we can't get something together because I, I really don't know if South Carolina is going to happen the way yeah. it's looking right now. I'm, you know, as soon as I know more about what's going on with Comic Palooza in Houston, I will let you guys know. Because if oh, I what date is that? That's in July. Okay. I'll have to check yeah. that out. Yeah. Yeah. Because if I can get that worked out, because um, I'd love to be able to get like two tables, so a bunch of us, you know, Robert said he's in to go in to do that. Yeah, one. Hell yeah. And then right. we can have if other people want to take the other table, I'll buy two tables and then I'll just pay me back. It's not a big deal, you know. Yeah, if I'm home, I'll pick up one of those tables. I yeah, just, I mean, I'll have to. We'll stay in touch. I'll I'll look at my schedule and see what we got going on. Jerry, are we going to stay in touch, buddy? You know but we never are. Talk anymore, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Man, I, I, we've talked on and off. I know you've been super busy. Hell, you worked through the weekend. Yeah, I'm doing that again this weekend, too. Oh, man. How, I got how's it. your co-worker, your partner? Oh, it's fine. Well, you know, sick, but getting better. So awesome. Getting better. Awesome. Yeah, she's on That's the meds. good news. God. Yeah, good uh, news. she has Omicron right now, but, I mean, a bad case. You yeah. Know? yeah, I don't even oh. know it's Omicron. Getting harassed so hard with it. Yeah, she's probably, she's probably got Delta. Delta. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm already – I'm done with Omicron. Other half had Delta, so yeah, then they're done that. <laughs> my, my wife and kid got Delta, but they didn't oh, have geez. any effects from it. It could have been Omicron, and we just didn't know it yet. You know what I mean? Because yeah, they yeah. didn't have any right. real effects from it at yeah. all. So, yeah. Y'all y'all have been safe through it all already still, right? Or y'all caught it? I had it. Well, you know, I had it back in uh, late February last year, early oh, March. Right. Yeah. Right, I was right. sick as a dog for shit a good month. Damn. Yeah, I've dodged it so far. So far, now, I mean, I'm hanging out at a bar not wearing a mask yeah. at the moment, so I'm probably going to be down in about three hours, guys. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. alcohol will kill it. Get, a, get oh, another tequila. <laughs> I did, yeah, right. No, tequila, tequila, problem solved. Yeah, man. No, I mean, I had a nice double. It was lovely. I there you it. go. So, yeah. I got to have a nice double tequila. Yeah, no. <laughs> Come yeah. on. <laughs> oh, I want to see that. Come on. <laughs> no, no. Dude, my brain one of the on, worst hangovers I ever had was off of tequila. Mine was oh, Crown Royale. No, no, mine was, was Jägermeister. Oh, I love Jägermeister. That was my second worst. <laughs> oh. That was my second worst with Jäger. Yeah. Then came uh, uh, Southern Comfort. That was uh, – I always liked Southern Comfort, man. Yeah, I really I did. I used to tell that one good, night though, in, uh, in college. It just kind of – Yeah. Can't yep. do it. Oh, yeah. Old man comics uh, wife just oh, got no. it. So sorry to hear that, man. I hope oh, she Oh, man. Them. Sorry, John. Yeah, I'll be praying for you guys, brother. Definitely. Damn. All right. Absolutely, man. I hope that comes. Uh, she gets through that quickly. Yep. For sure. Wow. See, man, it's just, it's just going around, dude. Mask it up. It really is. Up. Get your fucking booster. Yep. All right. Do, uh, yeah. What you no, I was like, where's my mask? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, mask up. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, Come there you go. Just, just do this. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Take it. There we go. Exactly. I can't get it on with one hand. Mask it up. All right. There anyway, slow gin. Right on. She's. Oh man, I'm so oh, sorry to hear man. that. Bro. Sorry to hear that, John. Sorry Dang. to hear that. Uh, I had that going on at the house too. I mean, well, not with me. I'm, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I, the, the shots and everything have been fine. The Omicron was. I had a runny nose, you know, but I tested positive. But yeah, I've, I've watched other. My brother, 
like I said, my partner, she's just, I mean, she's still coughing. And she's a month plus. My brother's hell, hell. He's like two months out of it, and he still coughs. Yeah. I mean, it just yeah. Yeah. a lot. Yeah. Um, I think it was Dan I was talking to. Hell, some days, it's here in just a few days, it'll be, you know, well, about a month, it'll be a year since I've had it. And I'm still not 100%. You know, I get tired spells that just come out of nowhere, just random shit. And, uh, you know, I get winded a hell of a lot easier than I used to. It just, it, it, I don't know. I don't, hey, maybe this is the new normal for me. Uh, you, who knows? Yeah, I well, just, the average age in this live stream right now is like, what about? 50 for all of yeah. us. I mean, shit, 45, yeah. 50. Yeah. yeah. 40, you're, you're 45 at least, right? At least, I'm, I think I'm the oldest one here. How old are you? 48. 48. Yeah. No. 48. Yeah, he's 40. Okay, yeah. 53, my friends. 53. Oh, man. I took the crown. <laughs> took the so crown. You're the youngest one, Jerry, because I'm older than you are. So. And hell, I look like the oldest one. <laughs> Let's be honest here. That just goes to show you it's not the age, it's the mileage. It's the mileage. And I've been <laughs> rode hard and hung up with. Right. That is right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's hilarious, man. Oh, this, man. Hey, oh. This is a prime example of what 20 years in the oil field will do to you. Just, <laughs> everybody soak it in right here. This is what it'll do to you. <laughs> this is a prime example of what way too many drugs as a teenager would do to you. So, uh, this is a product of artificial foods. That's why there's not a lot of wrinkles. 100% of Twinkies, Twinkies. Hell yeah. <laughs> Damn, you're making me want a Twinkie, Robert. <laughs> we're ding dong around here. We're that. Oh, <laughs> uh, old man coming. Sixty-three. Right. Sixty-three. John's got the crown. Sixty-three. Uh, John, you're winning, buddy. You, you're winning. Hey, you're carrying uh, the torch, brother. Oh, hey, Kenny, how's it going? AARP all the time. I, I get letters from AARP all the time, Johnny. You get news. Oh. Well. Here in the last two years, it's like every time I open the fucking mailbox, I've got something from them, man. Can't, I'm like, says, damn, dude. Cammy says we're all making her feel young. Well, enjoy, I, we enjoy do what we can. It, we enjoy do what we can. Got it. Yeah. Because yeah. I'll tell you what, you're going to turn around one day and you're going to be going, I'm the oldest person in the room. You know, just yeah. like us over here or something. The sad part is it happens just like that. Too. Yeah. It's oh, yeah. like you yeah. blink, oh, yeah. man, and 20 years is gone. So years ago when I was doing like Latex Adventure and Masters of the Obvious and all that stuff, um, I was always like, you know, about five, ten years older than a lot of the other co comic book people here in Austin, right? And right. then there were a couple who were older than me. But like those kids that, you know, I was in my early 30s and they were in their early 20s and they're all like, I'm like, Dude, you watch your money, make sure you're doing this, make sure you're doing that, you know. They're all, oh, shut up, old man. And now I see them, and I'm all, and they're like, and we're talking, and, you know, they're like, all right, Dan, you were right about everything. I said, I know. <laughs> I told you that. Yeah. You, know, uh, you know how <laughs> young books are. They know every fucking thing. Yeah, yeah. They know everything. They know everything. They, they have to experience it for themselves to really learn. Mm-hmm. Sadly, you can, yeah. Talk, yeah. you can talk and tell them to you blue in the face. They have to just yeah. live it. Yeah. But you know what? All good guys. I'll tell you what. There's yeah. there's a couple of these cats here in Austin. Because the bar we're at right now here, if you, got, you can see the sign. Well, I don't know where it is. Anyway, right there. If you can see the <laughs> sign. The bar that we're at is the bar that I come to with my comic book buddies here in Austin. All right. So like Jeremy, awesome. the artist, and Paulo Hernandez. Uh, Paulo HG, HDJ. Uh, Jeremy, Jeremy, the artist. And Drew, uh, Drew Halloween. All people here on uh, on Instagram. We all come out over here, and then Shane Campos, uh, we, when he was still in Austin, we all come over here for drinks. This was our place to go to, you know what I mean? And so you had to come here. This is like the comic place. I'm, I'm the comic version. So. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. Yeah. You're in now. All right. <laughs> now for the initiations. Put your head in that toilet. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, so, yeah. anyway. Um, we should get cruising. Yeah, in yeah, a minute. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cause we're standing, just standing in the parking lot now. Just Everybody's looking at it. Guys. All right. So guys, really appreciate you yeah, jumping great on. Talking hey, you guys, man. Great Thank to you. talk to Thank you, great. Robert. Can't Take wait to see the next book, book brother. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. Talk to you fellas soon, guys. Always good seeing you too. We'll do it, Dan. Take it easy, All brother. Right. Mo, Cammy, old man comics. Y'all have a great night guys.
right. Wow, somebody's having a good time tonight. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. But yeah, that I mean that kind of segue. I mean, yeah, we got a little off topic, but it it brought in a big thing, you know, about shipping. You, you're yet to find all this out. You got this still ahead of you. About that, and I started just kind of sweating a little bit. When you I that. seen that. You're like, oh my god. Oh, I seen. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything, but I seen you like, oh Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, um, that's it's not as bad as it sounds. Hopefully, like I said, if you got some backers in Australia, hopefully that's squared away. Yeah, I think I've got a couple. Most of mine outside of the U.S. are like Canada, and I got a couple in the U.K. So wow, but not like um, and then others. I think that were in different countries just chose to do digital because they didn't want to, you know. Yeah. They didn't want, and yeah, I don't blame them. I don't blame them. I mean, you fork out ten dollars for a book or nine dollars for a book, and then some some a holes asking for twenty five dollars in shipping. But I mean, that's not putting more money in our pocket. That's getting the book to them. I mean, that's just it is what it is. Yeah. I mean, we you can't lose your ass on this shit. I mean, if we did, we we wouldn't continue to have more books. You could only go in the hole one time. <laughs> one time. Yeah, I was just trying to avoid, like, you know, totally losing everything in this first yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. So then after this one, I can maybe gauge it better of, like, did I charge enough or too much or, you know. Right. You know. I, I did a lot of research and – uh Checked into a lot of things, and like Dan was talking, I kind of give it, you know, I wasn't trying to just, I was just trying to help him out. I, I said, look, man, I said, people can say what they want to say, but everything I've looked at, all the research I've done, even within the country, you need to charge ten, nine, ten dollars $10. Anything international, 25 Across the board, $25 international, out of country. Or you're gonna lose your ass, period. And yeah. uh, it is what it is. Yep. Yeah, shipping is crazy. It's, it's scary, Cammy. It really is. You you really have to do your homework. And and this uh, this pandemic we're in right now hasn't helped shipping at all. It's it's made it a, a worse nightmare than it already is. It's oh. made it twice as hard. And expensive. Well, what's going on here? All right. And what is it, Dave? Oh, nothing. There's like, uh, I thought my phone was about to die, but it was just kind of glitchy for a second. Everything. No, you're good. You're yeah. good. But yeah, like I said, I'm looking at. Uh, Let's see, it hasn't helped selling. No, it hasn't. It hasn't, Cammy. I know I, I've sold a few commissions here in just the last couple of weeks, but I was doing really good there for a little bit, and it's it's dropped off. It has. And, I mean, I don't blame people. Money's tight. The economy's shit right now. I, I tell you, I just I pray for our country every night. You know, I really do. It's, I don't know. I don't know what's going to fix it. Yeah, I don't know either. But man, you I know we can't we can't stand another shutdown. I know that. Oh no, yeah, shutdown would just be that. I mean, that first shut. I mean, the multiple shutdowns we had was brutal. Like the yeah, partial shutdown. I'll, go ahead. Oh no, go for it, man. I read after the the long shutdown we had. In the United States, over 200,000 independent businesses shut their doors for the last time. Now, you think about that. That's that's a family, possibly, that's a whole family per business. That's yeah. 200,000 just businesses. Now, that's not counting however many family members were attached to that one business that were affected yeah. by this mess, you know. I'm sorry to hear that Cammy lost her business. I'm sorry to hear that Cammy. I had several friends 
they close their doors for the last time. And I, I tell you, man, it's – I don't know. Like I said, we can't stand another one. So whatever it takes to get this mess in control, everybody just needs to stick together. And, hey, we'll pull through it. We're going to pull through it. I'm yep. going to put it like that. Yep. Totally. Let's see. Real – is that real snot cat or real shot cat? Real shot uh, It's good to have you on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Doodles. Hey, Derek. Derek, please. Doodles on demand. Yeah, What's he, up? Did, What's uh, it? Is Derek? Yeah, he did my uh, – he did that really cool – Yeah, the album. wraparound. Yeah, yeah. I love that. He oh, did man. an awesome yeah. job. Yeah. Big fan of his work. I, yeah, I follow him too. Yeah. He had, he had jumped off for a little while, but he's gotten he's gotten back on there pretty hot and heavy here lately. He did a fire star uh, the yeah. other day. I loved yeah. it, man. That was beautiful, Derek. Beautiful. Yeah. He's been killing it now with the uh, different X Men. He's been drawing all that. Oh thing. yeah, oh man, it's been great. I'll always be an X Men fan, even though I hate what Marvel's doing to everything right now. Yeah, X Men's in my heart, man. Uh, those yeah. we talked about this the last time we got together. I think that Chris Chris Claremont run back in the day. Oh, yeah. Yep. Well, let's see. Derek's wanting to jump on with us. Let's see here. Yeah, sure. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's get Derek in here. And let's see. We got John. Possibly. What's up, Derek? Hey, what's, hey, what's going on? Nice you. to finally talk for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I there have, he I is. Just, uh, we just sold our house in November. And uh, we closed in a, on January and moved into a new house. So I was like, I didn't have the bandwidth to do any drawing. It was, I had to jump off. Completely understood. Just trying to stay, uh, you know, busy with work, trying to get the move taken care of. So, yeah, I'm trying right, to. Right, right. Really get. Yeah. Yeah, it's good though seeing you. Uh... So I've seen you post a little more now that you've been coming up for air a little bit, probably. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's been nice. Love the stuff you put out, man. I really yeah. do. Huge fan. Yeah, I got the office. I like the rest of the house is still a wreck, but I got the office almost, almost back to, you know. There you go. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah. John, how you been doing, buddy? Other than Good. the obvious, how you doing? Good. I'm not as I'm not as fun as. Having Dan on though. <laughs> hey, we what pop a tequila in you? I guarantee oh, no. you'll probably be more fun than Dan. I'm gonna take a few shots to kind of stick the dance <laughs> What's up, Jason? We got hey, Jason. uh Jason Faro oh, in here with us too. What's up, Jason? But yeah, uh, so uh Derek, been meaning to ask you. I know you're kicking a lot of work around and you were talking about uh possible upcoming project a while back how's that coming along i had to put that on pause i mean i've got the uh these already read the first three issues of space is awful um what yeah. i want see i'm jealous i'm jealous <laughs> <laughs> i can get you some copies if you want them so <laughs> but uh yeah, would we love that man <laughs> actually have the whole project completely done before i start looking at anything but uh, when y'all started talking about shipping and just kind of things I want to keep in the back of my brain before we start trying to go live, figuring out how to prime the pump. And I know I'm going to be picking D's brain as far as like <laughs> get that going and make sure we have a successful campaign. Um, I just want to make sure everything's done on my end before I even start. I trying. got you. And hey, just meeting you, but uh, reach out to me anytime, brother. Uh, I'll be happy to help any way I can, Derek. I don't yeah. know everything, don't claim to, but I, I'll help you any way I can, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, for sure, man. Do whatever I can to help, man. Yeah. Well, it's good to see y'all. Yeah, I was I was not expecting I, I was like I, I want to talk to them or at least listen to what they're what they got to say. And, <laughs> yeah. Oh, you never know what's gonna happen here, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Oh, 
I love doing these lives, and I, I try to keep it loose, man. Every once in a while, you know, we'll we'll do a draw along, or like last time I did a a, a color along with Matt Martin, which is uh, me and Matt are partnering up on a, a prequel issue for uh, End of Days, and that'll be coming out later this year. He'll I'll be strictly writing all by myself, uh, plotting the book out, and uh, Matt will be handling all the pencils. So. Really excited for that. I've got uh, End of Days, Chapter 3 coming out. I, it's looking more like middle April right now because we just discussed all this shipping thing. I'm hoping, you know, I'm hoping this Omicron, from what I've, I'm reading, everything's kind of trending down. Yeah. I, I'm ready to see if uh, the world's going to kind of get back to some semblance of normalcy, you know, and let everybody get back in a better place. Got calls. I, I work for the I work for one of the local hospitals out here through Providence, and um, yeah, yeah, calls and watching those numbers trend down, and hopefully that's a continuing thing. So, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. But John, what yeah. what? Congratulations on the wedding, man! You, hey, you were looking dapper in that suit, buddy. I look nice. Jeez. You did, man. You shine up like a like a, a new penny. You, I mean, <laughs> start posting my pictures on Instagram and just there you go. Hey, you need to start on uh, what is it? Only fans or fans only? There you go. Yeah, they pay they pay good money for that, man. Yeah, I don't think anybody wants to see my ass. <laughs> Hey, you never know, man. That, hey, it takes a lot of people to make this world go around. You might, hey, you might can make you some serious money on the side. That might be an untapped source, buddy. All right, I'll do it right after you do it. We'll cause it. <laughs> oh. oh, God. Uh, for all the hair, they wouldn't be able to see anything. I, they think they picked up an issue of Bigfoot Nose Karate. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mine would be they'd actually think they were looking at the moon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. But for nineteen ninety nine, maybe it'd be worth it, huh? <laughs> hey, there you go. There you go. I'm telling you, it's like I said, there's people out there, man. You never yeah, know. I don't, I don't think so, Jerry. Not for you and me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. My so wife would strangle me I out anyway. Could swing it, but not, uh, yeah, D doesn't look a day over 35. <laughs> oh, <God>. uh. <laughs> yeah, that'd be bad. That was a nice wedding. A yeah, nice wedding. it. It looked it looked really nice, man. Did you say your son got married too? No, not mine, not yet, oh, not gosh. yet. Now my daughter got married. Maybe that was Jason. Ooh. Uh, Jason. I don't know. I think it was it Jason. Was it Jason? I think Jason, Jason if you're still in, that. tell us. Did your boy just get married? I don't know if he's still in. Anyway, but yeah, my my daughter's looking at uh, let's see, uh. What's the day? Oh, her fifth year anniversary is already passed. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Yep. That's pretty fast. That's pretty yeah. Fast. It's like I blinked. <laughs> Me too. Blinked and that grandbaby, oh, God, that's that's worth all of it, though. All is, the heartache, that... all the money I put in, you know, put out for that wedding back in the day, I mean, I don't even think about that anymore. One look in that grandbaby's eyes. It's just, we just had our 12th. Oh, wow, man. Congratulations, John. Oh, congrats. Yeah, well, we're like rabbits. Catholic rabbits. <laughs> I was to say, y'all don't watch a lot of TV. I figured that out real quick. Like. <laughs> yeah, we have fun. Okay, John says his daughter got married uh, November 2020. Okay. Wow, time flies, man. Damn. Yeah. Wow. You know, shit, I waited so long to get on. Now my phone's about dead. <laughs> so I'm going to say, see ya. I got to go. My phone's dying, Jerry. All right, take it easy, John. All right, good to, good to talk, brother. Hey, I'll be praying for you and your wife, brother. Yeah, uh, for she's, sure. Yeah, she's sick. I, she's been, she's had both shots, too. Wow, she's man. Like, Fuck, I'm surprised. I didn't think. Wow. You know, I kind of thought that with this Omicron, it wasn't that um, it wasn't that serious, but it's 
I don't know, it's pretty bad. But, you know, there's, in our, we live in a rural area and the hospitals are packed. I mean, yeah, you know, it's, it's no joke. I mean, there's a lot of people with it right now yeah. in my area. I think everywhere. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's everywhere, gonna, man. They it's say it's everywhere. dying down, but I don't know. I think it's going to get a lot worse before it gets a lot better. Yeah, let's hope not. Let's just hope and pray it just goes away, man. And this is maybe it's it's uh, last breath before it just completely maybe it dies just get out. Cold really and and kill it all off or something. I don't know. But yeah, no, I don't know either, John. I don't know. All right, boys. All right, take it easy, bro. I'm going to take off too. It's good to see y'all. I'll be in touch. Yeah. All right. Good Jerry. to talk, Derek. See you, man. Right, got the yeah lively night, boy. Lively yeah, night, awesome. Yeah, fantastic. All right, man. The more the merrier. I love oh, guys sure. jumping on with us. Yeah, Tim Credible Art. Yeah, let's see. We got Tim Credible Art, Starsky Comics. What's up, fellas? What's going on? We're just talking about uh Kickstarter projects and and. Everything in between, like we always do. We we get off the weird subject, but hey, <laughs> we have fun doing it. <laughs> Man. Yeah, and you came up with a good idea for Dan's uh, next issue, right? Bigfoot Knows Karate. Only fans, you and, and John. Never <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Hell, I might run that on my next one. I <laughs> Oh, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Nobody wants to see this. I promise you. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah. Um, yeah, media mail. Yeah. That's why I keep hearing media much. mail and for shipping. Yeah. You're not the first one to tell me that, uh, Jason. But I don't think you can do media mail international. I think it's just in country. I, right. I need to study right. up on that. Um, yeah, as soon as this one's out, I'm going to be working on the second chapter for sure. Yeah, I've already kind of plotted some of out because some of the stuff in the um, first one, I've moved to the second one just for pacing and, um, and, right. and, and my own sanity a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I feel for these guys like uh, Jack and uh, and Nate that went 40 and 50-something pages in their first book. I think I'd have shot myself before it was over with. <laughs> yeah, I I, I figured that early on, too. Like, I wanted, initially I was thinking, okay, I'll do that. You know, I was thinking of a big, massive, it's going to still be bigger than a normal book, but it's, uh, I realized, yeah, I got to kind of break it up a little bit more. So that's right, right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you gotta you gotta punch them in the teeth right out of the gate, but you don't want to give everything away in the first issue. You gotta, man, just give them some scraps, leave yeah. something on the bone. <laughs> Le hey, leave them wanting every time. That's what I try to do, cliffhanger every time. Yeah, I love that. I'm a fan of the cliffhanger. Oh, oh I love it, man. I love it. Uh, that's that's you can tell an '80s kid. In a heartbeat, just off the cliffhanger. Because we had to deal with that our whole childhood on cartoons, everything, uh, yeah. any kind of episode. Everything was a cliffhanger. Yeah. John says he's working on his space adventure in his spare time at work. Oh, yeah. I saw that one you posted, uh, Jason, uh, that uh, kind of the sci-fi city, right? That looked cool. I don't think I've seen that one yet. I'm going to have to go back and check it out. Yeah, he loves cliffhangers, too. That's the truth. Yeah, Tim Credible says that's the truth on the cliffhangers. <laughs> man, There's no doubt. Man. You know what What movie kind of did the uh, – almost kind of like a reverse cliffhanger where it just killed me as a kid was uh, that Transformers movie. Oh, God, yeah. Everyone, I, all the characters, I'm all, I bike to the theater and I'm all pumped and I'm like, what happened? You know, all the characters. Oh, man. 
Jump about the animated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. I cried when Optimus died. I'm not gonna lie. Man, I was telling you, we were so like stoked to get there and then that was like the the longest and quietest bike ride home after that movie. Oh god, yeah. Processing it all. <laughs> I mean, I was, God, I, I can't, I was young and I was the same way. I rode my bike up there, me and my buddies, and we were so pumped. And oh my God, dude, when Optimus went down, oh. I mean, we, you know, we never had really, we'd had loved ones pass away to an extent, but it, we were just at that right age where it just really kind of hit us like right between the eyes like a double bladed axe man it just god you talking about traumatizing a kid yeah that was brutal they did it they didn't care in the 80s <laughs> same man. thing in uh the gi joe movie oh yeah, yeah. remember that yeah i think i tried to block that one out <laughs> i couldn't Memory back for me. Thank you, D. <laughs> Sci-fi Wild West. Okay, 80 shows were all about traumatizing us. No doubt. No doubt. That's why we're the tougher generation. Because we were traumatized from knee-high to a grasshopper on up. <laughs> it was preparing us for what we're going through now. Yeah. Yeah, just building this up. Oh man, I love the the what Jason saying the sci-fi Wild West. That's that that's, sounds a hey. yeah. uh, Cowboys and Aliens. A lot of people hated that movie, but that was my jam, dude. I love that shit. Yeah, I was kind of. I just wish that you know. A lot of times they don't give give them a chance, right? They could have gone somewhere. Right. But they just say, nope, let's just cut our losses or whatever. And then it's. Well, I think if they'd have went lower budget, they sunk way too much money in it right out of the gate. They could have done a lot more with that and made it a lot creepier with a yeah. lower budget. You know, they, I mean, they threw everything in the kitchen sink in there right out of the gate and it just fell flat. Yeah, they went, they went all out. And so it's basically like, it's just like going all in. They pushed all the chips right in the table. Yeah. You could have cut fifty million dollars off of that budget and still had an awesome movie. Yeah. Oh, what's going on, JFJ Comics? Welcome. Yeah, glad to have you on, dude. Uh, D, not rushing you by any means, but I know you said you could only be on here for so long. So, if anytime you get ready, you let me know, and we'll hop off of this thing. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm keeping an eye, one eye in the, the clock. Okay. Okay, you know I'm bad about what I don't watch it, so you just let me know. Big uh, Manello joined. Good to have you on. Oh, cool! Galactic Marshall, Rodex, right? Wow, that sounds good. What is that? My chat must be behind. Oh, Jason's just talking about his character, Galactic Rodex. Rodex. Oh, wow. Man. That does sound cool. Man. Sounds. Yeah. <laughs> you there, Dave? Yeah. Can you hear me? Still? Uh, okay. Yeah, I got you. You just glitched out for just a second. It, and you was right back in. Man. Yeah. I, 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 hey. After all these horses, once I get through with this arc, I'm I'm gonna take a little break from uh, <laughs> end of day. Man, I don't. That's I, I don't want to draw anything with fucking horses for a while after I get through with these books. Uh, that, that animal is so tough to draw. It really is. Just because it's like a weird kind of the proportions and everything are interesting on that. One of those sketches. He said he drew him up in one of those sketches a couple oh. of weeks ago. Okay, was that I'll have to go back and check that out. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Really cool. So, yeah. Uh, so, didn't you tell me you were going 30, how many pages? 30 something? Yeah, it's, it was going to, it's going to be at least 30. And now it's kind of creeping a little bit just because of, 
getting all the uh, the characters from the the backers that did that one tier, you know, where I put their character in. Take it easy, Mo. Mo's jumping out. Good uh, to have you on, brother. Oh man, Tim, you got to give Tim the four on one on end of days. Okay, I missed. Damn, my chat's not working right. Okay, Tim. Uh, end of days. That's that's my book. Chapter three will be coming out on Kickstarter's looking like uh, mid April. Uh, chapter one. What it is basically, if you love Sherlock Holmes, the movies with Robert Downey Jr., and you love the show uh, Supernatural, the series. Yeah, it's like a perfect blend of those two. It's a supernatural mystery thriller. Uh, we jump back into Victorian era London, right in the the middle of the the Ripper murders, yeah. and uh, come to find out, it's it's not what you think it is. It's uh, ritualistic killings uh, by an unknown entity. I'll put it that way uh, because that's still to be shown. But it, it things more and more is revealed every issue. We get closer. We're we've got clues going to it. Uh, right. And with the ritualistic deal, take it easy, Jason. That's leading to somebody trying to bring about the end of days, the apocalypse, the end of the world through these killings. And uh, we're introduced to uh, an uh, inspector in, in the beginning of this. And we've also got uh, uh, Gabriel Smith which is uh, Gabriel the Archangel posing as a human. And uh, he comes in and, uh, yeah, they're trying to get to the bottom of this and uh, stop the end of days. But yeah. uh, it's dark, it's mature, it's gritty. Hey, go to my website, uh, jerrycooley.com. If you look at some of my earlier posts, it's in uh, the links in my bio. That made it easy for you. Check out the link in my bio. You can pick my books up there, and there's variant uh, covers. Hey, just say what you want and uh, check it out, man. Yeah. Go ahead, D. Didn't mean to, to cut I, you off like that, man. But when I saw that, I'm like, yeah, you got the four on one. You got to put a note in your. Are you gonna put a note in chapter three? Like, no, no horses were harmed. <laughs> exactly. That's a great idea. Yeah, no horse, no horses were har harmed during the uh, making of this book. Yeah, yeah, they they look harmed the way I draw. <laughs> oh God! But yeah, that's. Have you run into anything like that on your end that has really kind of pushed your ability as an artist? Well, one that's been really challenging for me is the um, doing like uh, kind of like uh, cityscapes and things like that, you know, yeah, cool with enough detail, but not too much to drive me crazy drawing it. Right, know? right. I know exactly what you're talking about. And I want people to get a, a taste of the world and all the different planets and stuff, but then it, uh it gets a little tricky. So what I've been, that's what I've been posting lately. I've been kind of, um, some of my favorite comics lately do a lot of like the, um, kind of the silhouettes and things like yeah. that. Yeah. Well, min minimalistic style. Yeah. Minimalistic shadows. And, um, but it kind of, you get a hint of what's there and showing some, but other stuff will be, uh, yeah. Kind of the minimalistic approach. Um, so I've, that's kind of been tough. I mean, the I don't have to deal with like the the horse issue because you know mine are, <laughs> like, uh, alien. Star Wars things. proves they're space fucking horses. Yeah, but then I can make them different enough where I'm like, well, it's not technically a horse, you know. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's like what the heck is <laughs> right? Yeah, but yeah, it's it's definitely. I mean, there's a lot of things, even like um, you know the things that you think you have know, down, like just the different perspectives, three quarters, side, front. Oh, yeah. Trying to keep the um, uh, character, all the characters, 
you know, looking the same in a way that, that that's, that's very true. tough. Panel yeah. to panel, to be consistent throughout, it's tough, man. It's it's a big learning curve. I I struggle with that myself, and I, I I'm trying to. I went back and really studied each uh, chapter one, two, and I've noticed inconsistencies. But I'm trying to to do better in this book and be more consistent, panel per panel. I, it, it's tough, man. It's tough, but you know, practice makes perfect, and we. We just keep hammering away at it. You know, that's all we can do. Yeah. And you were talking about that. The I've noticed that that approach that you're taking to your book, and I mean the colors, the painted style. I love the the what you what you're going for with the style. You know, okay. I love it, man. It's every panel I see coming out. You know, it looks better and better. I love where you're going with it. Thanks. I mean. Like we were saying, you know, this um, the whole process is kind of like when you go put yourself through the gauntlet like this, it kind of helped me kind of find a almost kind of find a, a style or look that really I can really get grab a hold of, right? Because I mean, I had have a style that I was inspired from, um, you know, my the Saturday morning cartoons and things like that, and yeah. definitely by that i still have that but then the more i was working on it the more i got inspired by some other other elements you know i always loved like silhouettes shadows things like that right and um and i just was always i don't know if it's right but just kind of not sure if i how to use them or should i use them and then I finally just said, let's just go for it and see what happens. <laughs> you know? Right. Well, you, hey, man, you're you're batting a thousand right now with it. All the swings you're taking, man, you're hitting you're hitting every one of them out of the fucking park. Oh, appreciate it, man. It's, I mean, really, dude, really, I love it. Man, thanks. It's it's like I was telling you. I think it was like last week. It's some. It's always good to hear that. Others are kind of connecting, like when you you sent me that note, like saying that you really were digging it because it's like, uh, um, you know, you kind of feel like you're on an island sometimes when you're making. Exactly, them. you really do. But you guys, man, y'all are my my uh, life observer through all these things. Yeah, yeah. Tim, what... Tim, saying, what's your favorite biggest inspiration cartoon? D. Wow, it's hard to say. There's so many, man. God, I, I couldn't pick just one. But one thing that really got me when I was really young that um, wasn't just one specifically, but it was um, the uh, uh, the Alex Toth ones, the the Hanna Barbera, and then the yeah. Alex Toth like Herculoids, Space Ghost, all those kind of things. That right. just got me going. And then, um, you know. More recently, the one like I always had behind me, Iron Giant, that movie always inspires me. Just the heart of the movie is really so good, too. You know, I love the art and all that, but it's just that movie has a lot of heart, and I really like that. And I'm trying always to do, you know, achieve that. Um, but yeah, like Transformers, Voltron, um, even Silverhawks. I mean, I love I was just fixing to say Silverhawks, uh, Thundercats, Thundercats, Thundercats for sure. Um, masters of the universe yeah oh god he man you know that was that was huge i've watched that every try not to miss any of those episodes um and then even like i think i talked before like other one like uh jace and the wheeled warriors i used to watch that one that came yep. on but then there's a lot that just like would come out with a bunch and then just disappear like they just didn't catch yeah. on flash in the pan man and some of them were really good. I mean, Mask, you remember Mask? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, one that come on later uh, was more like a late 80s cops. Uh, they, they, the cybernetic. Uh, yeah. God, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. But, yeah, that was another flash in the pan. I mean, it was, it was Brave Star. There's another example. Brave Star, yep. Yep. And, um, yeah, there's so many, like – Every time I look back, it's like, oh, wow. And then, you know, more recently, like, I love Gargoyles. Gargoyles was really good. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, back in the day, before that stuff, I 
would watch like g-force and things like that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i just like the vibe of that with like a team and all that stuff so that, that yeah was, i mean there's so many and then of course like you know that x-men cartoon was awesome that, oh god yeah I early mean, 90s yeah uh, that, the music <laughs> I always hear that song. how do you feel about uh Disney Plus uh, coming in and, and kind of closing that up. They're going to do some uh, new chapters of that. Have you seen that? I didn't see that, no. But uh, Yeah, they're going back to the well on that one. It's supposed to pick up right where the episodes dropped off on the 90s X-Men cartoon. Oh, wow. That's, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm always hopeful, you know, that um, that they bring it back and do a good job. You know, sometimes it's kind of like a swing and a miss, but other mm-hmm. times it's passable. Um, you know, it just depends who they – they got to get people that are really, really connect with that type of material, right? That's, that's – Cobra Kai is a perfect example of that. Yeah, exactly. It's – because if you get that, then, I mean, then – it's has a limit. Yeah, because if you don't, then it's just like someone's trying to do a formula or something. It doesn't work. You know, right. it kind of falls flat. So that's, but I mean, I think it, I'm hoping. I mean, I'd love to that they do a good job. It'd be awesome because I was a, I mean, I loved all those shows, even some of the ones that you look back. You know, some of those are probably cheesy and stuff now, but I liked all that. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, I did too. I did too, man. I was, uh, I was in my early. Well, I was coming on to my teen years during that time, and I mean, I still. Hell, I still watch cartoons. Iron Giant is still one of my favorite movies all time. It's in my top ten. Like okay. you said, it's it's got that heart, that animation. It was just that was lightning in a bottle. I don't think they could ever sequelize that and capture what they did in that first movie. That's a modern classic. Oh yeah, I agree. And um, when I met the uh, at the the last San Diego Comic Con I could go to. Pre- you know, pre-COVID, I actually was, I mean, honored to meet um, the uh, one of the animation supervisors. Um, oh, wow. And that's why he did this piece back here for me. Not oh, for me. wow. And he, he said, I'll sell it to you. He had a couple of displayed. And, I mean, he's one now that does, he works on, um, uh, he did the uh, What If ones. The Marvel What If. I got you. But, yeah, talking to him about just the stories was so cool. I mean, I probably – I was like, are you going to call security on me? Because I'm just sitting here talking about all this stuff. <laughs> but he liked it. He was, like, so, like, intrigued by, like, my interest in it. But he said that right. the reason why it was kind of like the lightning in a bottle was because the studio just let them do it. They didn't They didn't try to meddle or anything. They just said, you guys do this. And, and the and, biggest thing about that, when it first came out, Nobody knew what it was. Nobody went to see it. It it got a cult following, and it just grew, man. When it hit uh, DVD, it exploded, man. Oh yeah, it's yeah, it's amazing. I always joke. I go, I think that was Vin Diesel's best work. <laughs> <laughs> You're not far from the truth, though. I mean, really. <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah, Brave and the Bold. Yeah, that was that. that was good. Yeah, John. Yeah, that is a good one. Um, and uh have you oh god oh that man beyond bruce tim bruce tim is coming back they're going to do a darker grittier version of uh batman the animated series he said he's he's making one that he always wanted to make and they're doing it on hbo max i'm really excited for that oh that's gonna be good yeah like bruce tim's really good i mean his stuff is awesome Oh man, it's all the time, man. I gotta, I gotta pop off. I, I'm like, a yeah, little... brother. Right, well, hey, peace, brother. Take it easy. Uh, we'll talk again. We'll, we'll stay in touch. Hey, you take care. I appreciate you coming on today, D. Thanks for having me. Have a good weekend. You too, brother. And uh, thanks to everybody else that that jumped on here with us and put up with us. Uh, really appreciate you coming on and listen to us old farts talk comics, cartoons, everything in between. Uh, I appreciate all the support from each and every one of you. 
like I said, end of days, chapter three, coming out mid-April. Be sure to check it out. It'll be coming to a Kickstarter near you uh, to catch up on earlier issues. Jump over to my website. Give it a look at uh, jerrycooley.com. Excuse me, jerrycooleyart.com. The link is in the bio. Check it out. See what you think. Uh, Appreciate it. And uh, y'all have a good weekend. Peace.